Now, here's a question that appeared on our app, and, and I, I love this question. Uh, it, it's a great one. Nine months ago, Jesus chose me. He came into my life, turned it upside down in a good way. I have been baptized and have been completely restored as a person. However, nine months on, and I feel my passion for Christ is not as prominent and I sometimes find myself doubting a lot of the time. How do I sustain my first love for the Lord? Well, that's a great question. And let me see if I can help you. Let, let me put it to you uh, this way. When, uh, when I had my 50th wedding anniversary, or when my wife and I more accurately had our 50th wedding anniversary, a lot of people asked me the question, <laughs> and the question they asked was, um, what's the secret of your long marriage? And I said, uh, the secret of my long marriage is not a secret at all. Keep your promises and live a long time. Keep your promises and live a long time. So when I went into marriage, I made some very simple, basic promises. And uh, God has enabled me to stick with those promises over the long haul. However, when we got married, we went on our honeymoon. And when we went, we went on our honeymoon and uh, we had the gift of a, of a little car and we had the gift of some funds uh, that, were, that we could spend in Europe. And so off we went for three weeks touring Europe and we had our new little car, we had our new little life together, and it was absolutely wonderful. And then we came home. And when we came home, uh, we had to settle into our new little house, and it needed all kinds of work on it. And uh, uh, I then had to go back to work. My work was making all kinds of demands upon me. Then my new little wife, got sick and one thing after another we suddenly realized that the honeymoon was one thing and the marriage was another thing and when we got over the honeymoon period when everything was just absolutely wonderful uh, then we came down to earth with a bump and we started to realize that now married life was uh, was some something of a rocky road and now we needed to learn perseverance now we need to learn patience now we needed to learn endurance now we needed to grow up now we needed to mature now the analogy i think is pretty obvious when you when you first come to christ it is so wonderful it is so fresh and it is a honeymoon period but the christian life is something of a rocky road it has a lot of uphill periods, and sometimes it has downhill periods that seem to get hopelessly out of control. And what we need to, do, to learn uh, through these experiences is how to develop ongoing trust, how to develop ongoing obedience, how to develop the ability to deal with doubt etc etc and how do you do that you do that in the community of saints where you build relationships with other believers who will come alongside and support you who will take you into the scriptures and help you understand who will pray with you and teach you to pray and as you do do this you'll begin to discover that your your spiritual experience takes on whole new dimensions. It may not be honeymoon dimensions. It may be solid, mature, married life dimensions. But it's all part of what it means to be in Christ. And the Apostle Peter put it this way. He said, grow in grace and in the knowledge 
of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And you grow in grace and in knowledge of the Lord Jesus as he goes with you through all the circumstances of life. God bless you as you move on from the honeymoon days into the mature days of growing Christian faith.